Hello everyone, it's Deb and Marvelous Marlene. <laughs> here. We're here again today to tell you and show you how this amazing thing works. We're going to start with this called the Master System Base. And this is really cool just on its own, not that it specifically does anything. But when I lock it into place, it's stuck on the counter. So it's really good if you're a one-handed chef all on your own in the kitchen because you don't have to hold things. But then what we're going to do when I unlock it, I'm going to go over here and I'm going to get this really cool little thing that looks like a spaceship or something. I'm going to slide it into position and then I'm going to lock this again just with a little turn. And then it's stuck to the counter and this is also locked into place. Now this magic thing is a spiralizer. We have all heard of spiralizers. We all love those really cool things. We also have three Count them, three. How many, Marlene? Boondas trois. <laughs> that is... One, two, three. Friends Spaniel. <laughs> yes, Friends Spaniel. <laughs> and these blades all do totally different things. They stack really nice in the cupboard for... Um, and they hold together for storage because with the spiralizer, the sharp part is inside. Don't touch the inside. But if you reach into your counter and grab this, the blade is hidden and you're safe. They just pop apart for when you want to use them. And what we have is a narrow kind of um, noodley kind of cut. We have a slightly wider cut and then a ribbon cut. And I'm going to show you all of these. Let's start with Mr. Zucchini, shall we? Just going to cut the little end off. I'm going to cut both little ends off, actually. Whoops. Sharp side of the knife goes down, right, Mom? Um, yeah. Okay, <laughs> just checking. Of course. If you have granite countertops, get a cutting board. Oh, I haven't used this. It's summer. I haven't used this for a while. So first, we'll start with the little narrow um, ribbons. And you can tell because on here, can you see that on the camera? Mm -hmm. It's got the narrow ribbon, so that shows you which blade this is. So this has a little foot in that. It just pops right into place in the machine. We put in our zucchini, which is a little long, so just for the heck of it, I'm going to cut it in half. And then, poke that in, push it into the end, another lock, lock it all into place, and we start spinning. And I didn't get this under here, I'm going to make a mess on the counters. There we go. And it takes a couple of spins, first you get just little short ribbons, but then look what starts happening. Isn't that amazing? And mom, what kind of things can we do with these? Eat them. <laughs> And eat them again. And eat them and, and eat, eat them, them and more. eat them. My very favorite is doing an assortment of these um, from different vegetables. Put them on um, a baking sheet and bake them literally in the oven. They are wonderful. Exactly. Yeah. We do potatoes, zucchini, mm -hmm. yams, and um, other stuff. All that kind yeah. of thing. <laughs> and we bake them at 375 for probably about 20 minutes or so. Um, just cover them with a little bit of oil and a little bit of spices. And when they come out, they're kind of crispy, yummy. And I just sprinkle a little vinegar on them and they are the best treat ever. Um, for ones this size, these nice little ribbon cuts, you can use these as like a zucchini noodle instead of pasta. You can mix them in with your pasta which is awesome too. Cut back on your carbs just a little bit. Did you want to show how you release that? Not yet. Okay. I'm going to do a trick. I'm just going to get out a different blade. Now this just blade is... going to do a trick. <laughs> <laughs> this blade is the wider cut. And you can see again, it's got the wider cut on it. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to pop the little feet there into the little slots and pop it right in. We're just going to pop the little feet <laughs> into the little slots. This isn't the counter I normally use this on. So I'm, um, there we go. I am at a loss. We're gonna do the same thing here. We're gonna put the zucchini in, hold it in place nice and tight, lock it up, and we're gonna get some wider cut. Now the other thing that these zucchini noodles are for, and I'll just show you the difference here. There's the wider cut, there's the skinnier cut. So if you like a little heartier noodle, um, you can, again, use these as pasta. I like to put them in salads. Um, I make ribbon salads a lot. You can do carrots and zucchini. You can take a potato peeler, 
or a vegetable peeler and shred asparagus in into ribbons and it's really awesome. But meanwhile, we're just gonna keep doing this. Watch, now watch this. When I get to the end of these amazing noodles, something miraculous is gonna happen right over here. Are you ready? We're getting pretty close. Now, it was really super easy, but then all of a sudden it's hard and that's because it's at the end. It unlocks itself with a turner. You take it out. You have just a little tail of the vegetable left over. And here's my other hint. I take these and I put them all in a bag in the freezer or in one of my in freezer, freezer mates. Mate. And save them and use them for soups. Chop be them gone up. bags, be gone bags. Freezer and, mates yeah. rule. So that's that. Now, let's take this out. Are there any vegetables you can't do in a spiralizer? There's a few. You want to make sure that you um, do a vegetable that isn't spongy. So something like a um, spaghetti squash would not work. Mm -hmm. Butternut squash does. Just use the long skinny part, not the bulbous part where the seeds in that are. So this is the third blade. And you'll see this has just a big wide ribbon on it. It's a little hard to see with the red on red, but that's what it does. And we put that in. Now, there's lots of things you can do with this ribbon cut. Oops. But I have a favorite, just a sec. I have a brand new blade here. I forgot to take the blade guard off. Whoops. It does come with a blade guard, so you don't hurt yourself when you first get it. And so that the blade stays nice and sharp. You definitely want to take that off before the first time use. Okay, so we're just going to put this in again. Get the potato centered catch the tail nice and tight. So this would make really thick ribbons of whatever vegetable you put in here. But here's the really cool thing. This spiralizer has a hole. This blade has a hole in the end. So we're gonna put this little skewer in. And then we're gonna start spiralizing. And after the, look what's happening. It's going right on oh, the skewer. Tornado potato. Exactly. Yeah. At the stampede, you would pay $9.95 for one of these at least. At home, it's the cost of a skewer and a potato. Um, you can use wooden skewers, metal skewers, whatever kind of skewer you have. Do your potato right on there. Again, it gets to the end. We pull it out and look at this. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, and they're so oh, good. They are. A bit of oil roasted in the oven. Oh. Exactly. A little bit of oil, a little bit of your favorite spices. Set it on a pan so it hangs in the pan. Um, do one for every member of the family or the guests. You can roast it in the oven. You can put it on the barbecue. You can deep fry it. Just my helpful tip of the day. Remember to soak your skewers if you're using wooden skewers because you don't want them to catch fire. Now, if we were making a ribbon salad out of this, I would just chop these up, you know, into three or four pieces so that you've got these nice ribbony chunks in your salad. But anyway, that is a super awesome thing to do. You can also make some excellent scallop potatoes in that. Um, so that's it for the spiralizer. But the really cool thing is with this master system base, one purchase of this and you have access to all of the Tupperware um, toys that go with it. So right now what's available, um, we saw the spiralizer. There is the Fusion Man Master Mincer. Sorry, that's hard to say. So you can do um, ground beefs and sausages. There is a sausage extruder so you can put them in the little casings. It's awesome if you have a hunter in the family and you can do your own meats. There is the um, the shredder attachments with two different sizes of shredders to do cheeses or chocolates or anything. And then there's the Great Master Cone Trio, and that lets you grate ices and chocolates and crackers, anything harder. We even do coffee beans with the grater. So it's an amazing system. Now, come over here just for a sec, and I'll show you some of the other things. These aren't all available right now, but sometimes throughout the year you can get um, a potato ricer. It just slides right in. So again, if you're on your own, you can rice your potatoes on your own because this is being held in the, the master base. You probably want to look for that around Thanksgiving. There was also last summer a sorbet maker. It could turn up again. 
wonderful fruit ices and everything from frozen fruit just with a few turns of the, the wand. So you never know what's going to come up. I also have a juicer. Works sort of similar to this. Put your, your grapefruits, oranges, lemons, limes in. One squeeze. Again, when you're just by yourself in the kitchen, it's stuck to the counter. One squeeze and you're done. So the base is an amazing little thing. As my director, Sheila, says, it's all about the base. <laughs> Any questions, you guys, give us a call. You can see all of this on the website at debln 61 dot my dot tupperware dot ca full catalogs and flyers are available especially now that we're all kind of virtually looking at this kind of stuff so message us if you have any questions and we'll talk to you soon bye bye bye